expected the Vice Marshal Director Mr. Kundukar, the Deputy Chief of the Liberation Force, Human Liberation Board of Bangladesh, Lieutenant Haruna Rashid, another Dalian Freedom Fighter and the Chief of the Army Chief of Bangladesh Army, the organizer of the Bangladesh School here, the teachers and the little kids of the school. It has been a pleasure for us to be here this afternoon. It is a, as if we are in a mini Bangladesh here. But I have been telling that individually, wherever you remain away from the country, you represent Bangladesh and you are an ambassador. And in a group, in a family, in a community, you represent Bangladesh in a foreign country. Everything you do, everything you conduct, everything you display, it speaks of Bangla, it speaks of Bangladesh. Uh, and you represent Bangladesh here. So thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to be amidst you in this wonderful environment far away from Bangladesh. You are keeping the spirit of Bangla and Bangladesh high. I have been to a country as an ambassador, which is not an English speaking country, which is not an English speaking country. It's a Libya. It's a far away country, but there we run school, Tutsi schools. And I have found how the local, one is sponsored by the embassy, other one or two sponsored by the local Bangladeshi people. And I know how difficult it is to run a school keeping everything in Bangla and in Bangladeshi spirit. My full praise and appreciation for the organizers, organizations, organizers and the parents who have put their children there to grow their Bangladeshi heritage, culture, tradition high. We are really impressed what they have spoken in Bangla, whether they understood every words. If they have understood, you have done a great job. If they have not, fine. We, we also do not, we are not master of the language either. So since they are practicing, practicing Bangla or Bangladeshi culture in an alien country, where it is difficult, the culture is dif different, and uh, they are putting their effort, that's great work. And uh, the spirit they have shown through their uh, speeches, through their poems, through their uh, written articles, these are uh, really inspiring. And I must praise you, the organizers here, for organizing such a noble venture. For the little kids, you know, you have just uh, observed Remembrance Day just the other day. Why it is it Remembrance Day? Because in this country, they remember all those heroes who have fought all those wars to uphold the tradition, pride, honor of the motherland, their motherland, America. For every citizen, wherever they remain, his, his or her motherland is where he is born, his ancestors have born, uh, were born, mother, father, brother, sister, they uh, grown and grew up. So wherever you remain, your root is in Bangladesh. It's your motherland. Why is called motherland? Because it's as dear as our mother. Because we grow up in that country like mother rear, our, rear our, us up uh, in their lap. Those who are living in their country, in their country, they are every day calling her to keep the country going, uphold the tradition, culture, history, high among the countries in the world. World is becoming smaller. So every country they know each other. And there is a competition to project how good or how bad your country is. You must feel proud of your country because your country has a very rich cultural history, cultural heritage tradition and the greatest uh, honor of the nation is the liberation war 
in the world, not very many countries have the such rich history of earning the independence through such a bloody war of independence. You must have heard about Vietnam War, where two, three decades the war went on. They have laid their life, shed their blood, but they upheld their independence because of the love for the motherland. Same thing happened in Bangladesh in 71, 37 years back. We three are there. There are many more freedom fighters in Los Angeles. There are many more in all over the world, Bangladesh freedom fighters, who have fought for the independence of motherland. Many have laid their lives, shed their blood, and we owe to them because they gave their lives to uphold the independence, liber liberation of the country. Many have suffered torture, lives in the hand of Pakistani soldiers and some Bangladeshi collaborators. Pakistani soldiers have served 93,000 soldiers after Second World War. 93,000 soldiers have disgracefully surrendered to Bangladeshi Indian Joint Forces. And our great war hero, the Vice President Kandukar, was present. He was representing Bangladesh government. So that is our achievement. It, it country may be small, but the strength of the people of the country is very strong. And we own the victory. So many people have laid their lives to achieve the victory for the nation. Many people have suffered torture, casualties. Ten million people had to leave the country, went to India, lived in uh, discomfort and misery. All this happened because they loved the country. They wanted, wanted to snatch the victory from the clutch of the uh, Pakistani soldiers. We earned victory. You were here not as a Pakistan. You were here as a Bangladeshi proud citizen. You have a nation. You have culture. You have a language. All this could be achieved because of us, because of your father, your cousin, your uh, uncles, your grandfather, they have fought for the country. Like this America, they have fought for their independence. You must be studying American history, American civil war, American uh, wars in uh, outside America. So learn from them, pick up the good things from, the, from America. Many good things can be learned from them. You should inculcate those. So that when you grow up, you grow up like a good citizen of Bangladesh, of America. And you put in your best for the betterment of the people of Bangladesh, for the country. We are here, there are people who have caused suffering to the millions during the war. And those have not been taken into task under the law and not punished because all these criminal acts cannot be left unpunished. So time has come, because all over the world, wherever there are uh, crimes committed, you know about Bosnia, you know about African countries, you know about Cambodia, all are being tried. Why people have tried? Because in a society where we need to live in peace and harmony, where the criminals cannot be let loose, Time never goes away. We have not done it in the past. Time has come because we are a civilized nation. We want to prove that we are a civilized nation and we believe in peace and harmony. That's why those criminals should be put on the trial. If the punishment is awarded, they have to undertake the punishment. If they are released by the court, it will be accepted. But we want to get rid of all these black spots from our history. That's why we are out to many countries to make people understand what we have suffered, what should be done to live in a better society, a better, uh, to live a better life. And tell the people 